What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here, welcome. Today's video is going to be a bow and tee review. So if you're not familiar, bow and tee is a brand that really just came out of nowhere and just blew up. I believe they are a UK based brand and they are the sister brand to Opali. So if you're not familiar with Opali, Opali is also a UK brand. They do a lot of like cute, tight little like dresses and sets and they also do swimwear and stuff like that. And now they are diving into the activewear world with their own separate brand, but a sister brand nonetheless called Bow and T. So today we are going to be reviewing Bow and T. As always, everything that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below along with all of my personal links discount codes and measurements for reference. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So the first thing that I have on is the Breathe Seamless Cross Strap Sports Bra in the color Sand. And I got this in my regular size small and this is $41. So this sports bra is made from a seamless material. It has removable cup pads. And I just think that the design of this sports bra is super, super unique. It like looks pretty normal from the back, but I've never had a sports bra that is this like kind of like cross strap um, along the neckline. So definitely a very unique sports bra. I'm gonna be completely honest though. I just don't really feel like it's very practical like it's very very cute like would be so cute for an Instagram picture and I probably could do like upper body day in this but I just don't feel very secure in this um, there is a little bit of gaping in the front here and perhaps that wouldn't have been an issue if I had sized down but I also just kind of feel weird like my armpits are like like hanging over, I don't know. It's just like all together. I wish there was a little more coverage. I wish that maybe it just came out like a little further. I don't know if that would take away from the look, but I just don't feel very secure in this. This top does have adjustable straps, um, which helps a little bit, but I feel like if I were to take the strap all the way forward here, that would just look weird and kind of just be uncomfortable. So I didn't want to do that. Um, so overall, a cute sports bra, but in my opinion, just not very practical. Like I definitely would not do anything besides low impact exercise in this sports bra. I do love the color though. I love the like sand color. I just feel like it's a very classic color, um, goes with everything. So I do like the color. It's cute, but just not the most practical. So the next thing we have here are the Commitment Seamless Full Length Leggings, also in the color Sand. I also got these in a size small and these are $48. So these are a high rise legging. They are full length. They of course do not have a front seam because they are seamless, but they also do not have any glute separation. They don't have one of those like fake seams in the back to separate the glutes. The waistband is ribbed and it kind of dips down to give a little bit of a contour. It's not like super exaggerated or anything. And the waistband definitely provides tummy control if you're into that. Personally, if you've watched any of my videos on seamless leggings, you probably know that I do prefer there to be a little seam in between the glutes so you don't get the like unibutt look, you know what I mean? I do prefer that. And I also do feel like these leggings run a little bit small, like they feel very, very tight. Um, and I think they're not completely squat proof. I am wearing nude seamless underwear underneath them as I always do. But I think since they fit very tight and they are a lighter color, they're not completely squat proof. So I'm not sure if it's just my preference. Um, you guys might know that I really don't like super compressive leggings. I, I like comfortable stretchy leggings that I feel like I can breathe freely in um, and these are just a little too tight for my liking. I maybe would have liked them more if I would have sized up to a medium. So I would say if you are in between sizes for these and you don't like compression, size up. 
Okay, so up next we have the No Sweat Ribbed Scoop Neck Sports Bra in the color Caramel. And I am wearing this in my regular size small. And this sports bra is $33. So this sports bra has removable cup pads. The straps go up and down like a regular bra would. And the scoop neck definitely perks up the girls, makes the girls look good in my opinion. I would say that this is a medium support sports bra. I do feel very supported, but because there is a bit of cleavage showing, it's definitely not high support. I would not go running in this, but I would feel comfortable doing most exercises. Maybe not the ones where I'm bending over because you know we got, we got some cleave going and when you bend over and there's that going on, sometimes you feel like you're gonna fall out a little bit. But overall, this is a comfortable, pretty classic sports bra. I talk about this in so many videos, but I love having options that just go straight up and down because when I wear racer back stuff too much, it tends to dig into my traps and it can be very uncomfortable and price wise $33 that's pretty like mid-range in my opinion so not bad so to match the sports bra I got the back in gear ribbed full-length leggings also in a size small and these were $43 Personally, I do not find these leggings to be full length. They seem a little bit more seven, eight length in my opinion, but they are high rise, no front seam of course, and they do not have any seam to separate the glutes, but these fit a lot stretchier than the previous pair of leggings that I showed you. So personally, the stretchier the leggings, they typically make your booty look better because they don't like flatten it out. Um, so I still think that these are pretty flattering on the glutes, even though they don't have any separation between the booty cheeks. So personally, between the first pair and this pair of leggings, I definitely do like these more. These just feel a lot stretchier, a lot more comfortable to me. Like I said, I love very stretchy, comfortable leggings. Um, so I definitely do prefer these over the first ones. So the next thing that I got is is the Strive Seamless Asymmetric Crop Top in the color Melange Purple. I got this in my regular size small, and this top is $38. So again, this sports bra is made from seamless material. It has removable cup pads. It definitely makes the girls look good in my opinion. And this is definitely another unique design. I see a lot of people take regular sports bras and take one strap over their head to kind of create this look, but I've never actually had a sports bra that was meant to be worn that way. Um, so it is definitely unique in my opinion. But again, I will say, I. I do not think it is very practical. I would not wear this sports bra for anything besides very light exercise, maybe like just like an upper body day. Um, personally, I feel like this is a sports bra that I would be grabbing this side the whole time and like yanking it up because it tends to like, if you move your arms, um, you kind of just start like hanging over the side and I really don't like that feeling. So I would probably be yanking this side up the whole time. And just being completely honest, the strap right here just like isn't the most comfortable placing wise. I'm also really weird about like sensory things, like things have to be placed right and they have to be comfortable, otherwise I can't focus on anything but that. So yeah, another very cute sports bra, very unique design. It would be very cute for like Instagram photos or just like a upper body day, but in my opinion, it's just not the most practical. So to match the sports bra, I got the Fuel Seamless Cycling Shorts also in melange purple. I got these in a size medium because I always, always size up in shorts and these are $38.
So these shorts are very comfortable. They are high rise, of course, no front seam. They do not have a seam separating the glutes. I actually think that these are basically the exact same um, fit wise as the first leggings that I showed you. These are just in short form. If you know me, you know I love my bike shorts. I just love feeling like my butt is not going to pop out when I'm squatting in the gym. These are very, very comfortable. I actually almost feel like I could have stuck with my regular size small in these, which is interesting considering these sand color leggings felt way too small. Um, so I'm not really sure if a small in these would have been way too small, or maybe it's just like discrepancies amongst colors, I don't really know. But overall, these are a solid pair of seamless leggings. Very, very comfortable. Um, I wish they were a little more flattering on the glutes. I wish they did have a little seam to separate them. But you know, we take what we can get. Um, so overall, I do think this set is very, very cute. Sports bra is not the most practical, um, but I do like the shorts. So up next, I got the Strength Seamless Plunge Neck Sports Bra in tie-dye, and I got this in my regular size small, and this is on sale for $26. So as the name says, this is a plunge neck sports bra. It has removable cup pads and adjustable straps. It definitely makes the girls look good. Um, and honestly, I think this is probably my favorite sports bra out of this entire review. I love that these straps are adjustable, but they're not super thin. I talk about this a lot too, but a lot of times really thin straps tend to dig in. So I like how these are thicker, but then they're adjustable in the back and of course I love my tie-dye so this sports bra is definitely a winner for me I will say though this is a light support sports bra in my opinion because it is so low cut I would definitely not do any high impact activity in this so to match the sports bra I got the unwind full-length cuffed joggers and I actually got these in a size large and these are on sale for $36. So the reason I got these in a size large is they did not look oversized on the website. And I like my sweatpants to be oversized. I know they call these a jogger, but these are definitely, in my opinion, a sweatpant just with like a cuff at the bottom. And I like my sweats to be oversized. So I decided, I usually size up in sweatpants to a medium, but I decided in these to size up to a large and I'm definitely glad that I did because they're still like not super oversized even in the large. So if you are like me and you like your sweatpants to be oversized, I definitely would recommend sizing up one if not two sizes in these but personally in the large i do like them they are high rise they have pockets and elastic waistband they actually are long enough lengthwise but just barely i run into that issue a lot a lot of times sweatpants joggers stuff like that just are not long enough for me i'm five seven so i don't know why that's an issue um i'm really not that tall but a lot of times we do run into that issue so thankfully these are long enough and the inside of these is very very fleecy and warm so these are definitely something that I would only wear in the winter time because they are quite warm up next I got the recharge oversized sweatshirt in burgundy in a size small and this is $61 So this sweatshirt is very warm, very comfy. Um, I feel like I could have sized up to a medium in this just because it said oversized, but it's not as oversized as I might like it. Lengthwise, it does come like to the top of my hips. So it's not like oversized like 
lengthwise. I feel like for me, I kind of like cropping it up since it's not like super, super long. So what it says on here is a bow and tee earned leisure time. Um, I like that it has like a little writing on it, but like, I feel like that's kind of funny, like earned leisure time. I don't know. I feel like they could have just like stuck with the logo and said bow and tee, bow and tee, bow and tee. Just because like, I don't need my apparel to say earned leisure time. I don't know. If you guys know me, you know I'm weird about like what things say on them. And then the back says recharge and revive. So again, I feel like I would have rather them just like stuck with the logo and like that's it. I also did wanna say, I feel like for a sweatshirt like this, $61 is a little bit pricey in my opinion, considering you can go to Walmart or Amazon and get something very similar for like $10. Um, so I don't know, your call on that. So to match the sweatshirt, I got the Champion full length cuffed joggers, also in burgundy. I got these in a size medium because like I said, I like to size up in my joggers so they are nice and oversized. Even if they say oversized, I still size up in them. Um, and these are also $61. So these joggers I am actually obsessed with. I have been wearing these all weekend. So for the past like three days since I got this package in, um, I just knew immediately that these were gonna be a favorite of mine. I love that they're actually oversized. I love that they are high rise, they have pockets. And lengthwise, they come down so nice that I actually have a nice little scrunch down at the bottom, which is very rare for me to find when it comes to sweatpants. So I definitely would say that these are oversized. They are also nice and fleecy on the inside, like the sweatshirt, very warm, perfect for winter, and probably my favorite thing from this whole haul. Okay, so the last thing I got are the heavyweight sweat shorts, also in burgundy, also in a size medium, just like the joggers. And these are $43. So these are high rise, they have pockets, they are fleecy on the inside. Um, lengthwise though, I just, I don't really think I like them that much. I don't know why I'm super into bike shorts, um, but as far as a short like this, I just, I don't know if I'm really feeling them. I don't know why, I loved the joggers so much but the shorts of this, just maybe not my vibe. They are very, very comfortable, but I also did wanna say that like, since they're fleecy and warm on the inside, but they're short, I just don't really know what season that I would wear these in. Um, I mean, they, they would be very comfortable to lounge in, but like this part of my body would be very hot and the rest of me, would not be. So that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got a lot more videos coming your way soon. So stay tuned for those and I will catch you next time.